Hi, I'm Adrian Mortimer. I'm the creator of the CapPro machine uh, that you're looking at today. So, when we designed this machine, um, I had John Estes from ShowPro, and he made the box for me that runs it. He's done a good job on the longevity of the machine, of the box, and the repairs are very small. If there's any repairs and replacement parts, you can do it all yourself. It's easy to set up when I ship them away. They can, people have no trouble putting one up. Really associates, your horse associates with this machine just as well as it does a cow. So when I show off this machine, it's like I've worked a cow and then going to show it. My name's Russell Elrod. I have one of these Adrian Mortimer machines. Um, I love it. Um, I, I like it. Um, it, you know, I've worked all the machines out there. I like this machine the best. It's quiet, um, and I like how it turns across. So you know, like I really feel like I can tie a horse to a cow. Um, you know, I've I've gone to some pre-works with some of my three-year-olds and didn't have um, some fresh cows to work to get ready to go. So I just machined them, and when I went to that pre-work. My horses didn't miss a, a beat. It was just like I'd been working them on fresh cows. Um, and Adrian changed the shock on it to where I can, I can stop it right here. You know, like it doesn't have to go all the way across every time. You know what I mean? Like, and that's another thing that I really like about this machine is I can, I can go there, I can go there, or I can go all the way. So Ross has got one of his non-pro clients here working on a three-year-old. And the greatest thing about this, and I've seen it with Eddie Flynn too, his customers come to his house to work and they work this because the non-pros and amateurs just have trouble associating a cow to your horse. And doing what we can do is, is just get that little draw, get the turnaround, get the little draw, but Russ can control the movement of that cow and control that person as well at the same time and get the freshness off your horse so now when this guy goes and works a cow he knows where he needs to be and his horses knows where he needs to be and just like right there we just tricked him and um, it just makes a lot a lot of sense to a person to work this and then go and work a cow especially if they've never worked a cow before Mainly because if you go to someone's place to work some cattle, the cattle are never that great. Like a trainer can get worked, but non-pros and amateurs that haven't worked a lot of cattle, it's hard to get worked in a straight line and, and get a consistent work to where it's the same every day. So this is, this is what I think I can see has helped Ross and Eddie a lot just with their clients. And they can, and they, you can have someone that's never even worked cattle before and just work this all the time for a couple of months and then when they go and work a cow they know what they're supposed to be, where their horse is supposed to be, what their feet are supposed to be doing, where it's just not a wreck before. So it's been great for that. Another aspect of this machine that I really like is not only the quietness but how easy it is and reliable it is you know like i've had no problems with my machine um, it gets used every day um, and if i need to make an adjustment it's something simple that you know a horse trainer can do it, it doesn't take a, a computer guy to, to to fix it what i like about this cow is right here how it turns and it gets right across so there's no delay with with this machine starting to move and then the cow moves you know like i like right now that cow is coming across and that's the part i really like that i feel like i can get my horses getting across that cow and bam to a stop whether it's 10 feet or i go like my machine i have it set up to run 120 feet um, you know but that's what i think really helps tie this cow in you know to, to, uh, to the horse, or I can tie the horse to the cow, is that move right there across. There's no delay. 
you know, like that horse has to come right now. And you can see now how he's worked it a bit, he's got the flesh off this horse and this horse is really starting to dial in, this rider's trying, is starting to dial in and everything's just smoothing it out and he hasn't had to cut 30 head of cattle just to get the same work. He's just worked and worked and worked. Just like right there, a little, little stop. He's not having to stress this horse out. And this horse is really starting to think about it all now. And that's mainly what you're trying to do when you're training a cutter, is, is get your stops and, and let your horse think, ride him through the turn and get your stops again. But try and let that horse work it out himself. He's not getting frustrated about this. And that's, the, and that's the main thing about a person trying to get into cutting, is they can work this for a while and get the feel of it, of what a cutting horse can do without, you know, cutting a cow and it running to the fence and then you having to cut another cow and running to the fence. You can just work and work and work until you get the feel what you're supposed to be doing and it's enjoyable for, for the rider and for the horse too.